What's going on, y'all? I was mixing a song for an artist named Keenan yesterday and uh, came across a track that hit a lot of headphone bleed. Uh, so I want to do is show you a technique with using a gate that you can gate out unwanted background noise, bleed, uh, anything going on that you don't want to hear uh, when the track is not playing or when the vocal is not playing. So a gate does exactly um, what you would think a gate does. In, in reality, we use gates to keep things out, keep things in, and you can only get in and out the gate when the gate is open for you. So a gate works the same way in audio. Uh, sound comes to the gate, uh, the gate lets the sound in, and lets the sound back out. So let's go over, um, let's quickly go over the controls on the gate. Uh, in Studio One. I'm going to leave the, the far right alone for right now. That's more advanced, but just the simple uh, basic of a gate. You've got your uh, threshold, and Studio One has a open and close uh, threshold, which is pretty cool to have them separated because you can set them independently. Uh, I'd say most gates you see, the open and close would be tied together to just one uh, threshold parameter. So open, and what open does is it allows you to let you know when the sound reaches this point, open the gate, let the sound in. Your close, when the sound reaches that threshold, is going to close the gate. The range here, uh, range, when, it, when the sound is outside of the gate, it's being pushed down or turned down by the gate. This range allows you to set how far down you want the sound to be. Now, you would think that you'd want it set all the way down as low as it would go. Now, you want to be careful about that because uh, the lower that you set the range, the longer it's going to take to open the gate back up. Uh, attack and release, just like a compressor setting, uh, when, the, when the sound reaches the open threshold, uh, how quickly do you want it to open? That's your attack time. Same for release. When it closes, how quickly do you want it to close is your release. And the hold is, is how long do you want to hold the gate open. So I'm going to play uh, the track here so you can hear. I'm going to deal with this vocal part here. And you can see just these little, uh, these little transients here is headphone bleed. So let's play it. You're all that I need. Yeah, 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 all that I need. Okay, so you, let's use this gate uh, to get rid of that, that uh, headphone bleed. So, just really quickly, a side note, headphone bleed is uh, really annoying to me, so... Uh, the way I make sure I don't have headphone bleed is when I'm tracking vocals and I'm getting the I'm getting the levels right and I'm still setting the pregain. I'm recording uh, those takes as I'm going, and I play them back. I play a little bit of them back just to check to see if I'm getting any headphone bleed. Uh, so that's a, a easy way to check your headphone bleed before you really get deep down into uh, tracking your vocals is to just check that when you're checking levels. And I'll give you two examples uh, why you really do not want headphone bleed in your tracks. Uh, the first reason is it's going to make for a not so clean acapella uh, when you do an acapella version, or if you have to do an acapella version of your song and you got the headphone bleed in there. Uh, second thing, as long as you're mixing or you know doing anything with that vocal to that same music that was recorded with that headphone bleed you'll be fine. But if you go to do a remix with that vocal and you got that headphone bleed in there, it's going to totally screw up uh, your attempt at uh, remixing that song. But, uh, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do here is we want to play just the part that's got the bleed in it. And I'm going to take a level meter. And let's open this up and let's see where the level is on this headphone bleed. Oh, yeah, how about solo? Yeah. Let's see, we're, we're peaking right around here. Yeah. Yay! 
Yeah. Okay. So once you've got where we where you're peeking at. Actually it's more up here. Right there. So uh negative sixteen point eight is where we're peeking at. So that's around where I want to set my where I want to set the gate to. So let's uh close and get rid of this level meter. And obviously I could have did that with the level meter on the channel, uh, but I like being able to make the level meter uh, as big and resize it how I need it uh, to see it better. So back to our back to the vocal track, get the gate back open. So I've already preset this. So taking a closer look, I've got the open and close uh, set to negative 16 dB. It was just a, a little bit over the 16.8 that we had. Uh, the range I've got to 50. I've got a 15 second, 15 millisecond attack, 80 second, 80 millisecond release, uh, about 100 millisecond hold time. So let's engage the gate and hear what we got. You're all that I need. Yeah, 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 all that I need. And just a reminder of what it sounded like before with the bleed. Let's turn off the gate. You're all that I need. Yeah, 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 all that I need. And just one more time with the gate to show how the gate is removing the background bleed. And you can see in the, the range here, um, like with it turned on, it's already pushing it down 50 dBs. So just I guess, pay attention to how the gate is opening and closing uh, with the parameters that I have it set. So when the vocal comes on, um, the gate's going to open up and let the vocal come through. But then when the vocal is not playing, is pushing down anything below that certain threshold, which is the background bleed that I don't want to hear. You're all that I need. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All that I need. All right, so you can use gates for different things. You can use gates on synths um, with the... With the MIDI trigger here, you can trigger MIDI notes with the gate. Uh, you can use it for drum replacement. Uh, the most popular use, I'd say, for gates is on drums. You can um, you can gate out the background bleed of a drum kit. Uh, but there you go. That's a technique for using gate to uh, remove background bleed uh, from a vocal track. All right. Catch you all next time.